out first of all tonight, Jackie, those uh, figures for suspected people suspe su suspected pardon me, of being involved in substandard uh, blocks of flats. The uh, Justice Minister said today they have a list of 131 such people. They've already called in 113 for questioning. This was a scene today at Istanbul Airport, two gentlemen being rather politely invited by the police to go and help with their inquiries. They complied. Um, one of them was later quoted as saying he didn't know why the building he'd been involved in constructing had fallen down and collapsed. And he said that his trip today, or his attempted trip today to Montenegro, had nothing to do with the earthquake. Quick update on the looting situation. Yesterday, 48 people have been arrested. That figure's climbed to 57 today. And Syria, of course, to the south of this uh, uh, situation in Turkey, 3,000 or more people are known to have died there uh, already. The Americans have said they will lift temporarily sanctions on the regime in Damascus, Bashar al-Assad's government, in order to get aid in. The UK government says it's likely to follow suit on a case-by-case -case basis, but has made it clear that it won't stand in the way uh, of any aid getting in to where it's desperately needed. So how do you really convey the enormity of what's happened here? One way, perhaps, of trying to do that is to concentrate on one discrete group of people, and few groups stand out in this enormous tragedy uh, more, perhaps, than those two young teams of volleyball players from a school in northern Cyprus. They come to Turkey for the time of their lives, and it turned out to be absolutely the wrong time in the wrong place. They'd all gone to bed elated. They'd just won the match. Life was good. The girls and boys volleyball teams from Famagusta in Turkish Cyprus. And then, just after 4 a.m., hurled from the sleep in their 10-story hotel into this the dead of night. Kapıya doğru koşmaya çalıştım çocuklara gitmek için. Koşamadım. Bir şey çarptı yüzüme. Evet, düştüm. Bayıldım sanırım. Devamlı hatırlamıyorum çünkü. Kendime geldiğimde bir sürü toz vardı. Böyle bir değişik karanlık bir ortamdı. Kalkmaya çalıştım, kalkamadım. Üzerimde bir şey vardı sağ tarafımda. Üstümde tavan vardı. Ezra Osbergman, the only teacher to get out of here alive. Three other parents made it. Just four of 39 pupils, teachers and parents survived. Every single one of the 24 students killed, including Ezra's daughter, Sahil. İçeride hep çıktığımda herkesi dışarıda bulacağım diye bekliyordum ama çok kötüydü. Sağlam hiçbir yer yoktu. Son çocuklarımızı bulamadık. Benim kızım da burada. Dün sabah bulundu daha tam altı gün sonra en altta Bodrum'a kadar düşmüşler. On bir buçuk. Ben küçük oydu. Ben küçük benim kızımdı. The northern Cypriots didn't wait for Turkey. They ferried in the parents, a rescue team, a prosecutor, diplomatic officials, even a refrigerated meat lorry, now mortuary for 35 bodies from a party of 39. <laughs> Searchers in the rubble retrieve a trainer from one of the lost children. They seem to know where it should go. Quietly delivered to the father of that 14-year-old, broken in grief. A few feet away, the pitiful personal effects of a school trip collected from the wreckage where they can. Mobiles belonging to the party. <laughs> Back home in northern Cyprus, of course, crowds have been turning out time and time again. Funeral after funeral for so many taken so young. Last night here, Pakistan's urban search and rescue team reached a teenager, Baron. After five days and 17 hours, Baron just walked out. 
Also here in Adiaman, a smaller crumb of comfort. Somebody's dog is brought out alive. But it is the cemetery here that tells a bleaker truth. Coffins stacked up to meet the arriving body bags. Alatin Pektash prepares to bury his brother and invites us to film. His family, immediate and distant, torn apart by this disaster. Öncelikle kendi aile yakınımda. Oğlumu, eşimi, iki abimi, iki abimi, bir yeğenimi, ablamın oğlunu, eşini. The diggers constantly at work preparing new ground, as are those in charge of the headstones. The imams run from burial to burial to keep up with prayers. And healthcare professionals, under the enormous strain of dealing with the dead instead of treating the living. And I just said, küçük ölü bebekler elimize verildi. Onları taşımak zorunda kaldık. Evet, iyileştirmek yerine ölüleri transfer ettik. Çok da acı bir şey yaptık aslında. Evet, kötüydü yaşadıklarım. Çok kötüydü. And the physical damage, increasingly across the quake zone, you'll come upon this: silent heaps. Abandoned for now, until it can all be hauled away. And this, the demolition of more than 7,000 buildings, too damaged to remain, is now underway. <laughs> 